Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. In today's video, I'm sharing easy spring outfits. These are spring capsule wardrobe looks that I feel like a lot of us have the majority of this already in our closet. And so I think I would think of this video as like outfit starters, just really simple, basic, everyday outfits. You're in a rush, you're not sure what to wear. I hope these outfits give you some inspiration. Now, of course, everything I share in today's video will be listed and linked down below in the description box. If you're on mobile, tap to tell this video, everything will populate for you there. You can also very easily follow me over in the free LTK app. Everything is already linked in there and you'll see tons of different collections, lots of product recommendations, sizes, everything is always over there as well. Now, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it so much. Helps me a ton. Let's get right into it. Easy Spring Outfits 2024. Okay, now, like I had mentioned, I feel like very simple pieces, but together create a very simple look. Sometimes you can't think of what you want to wear. Grab a couple of your favorite items, put them on, and you have a great outfit. These jeans here, these are the Levi's Ribcage Straight Jean. They are hands down my favorite jeans. If I had to only wear one pair of jeans in my wardrobe for the rest of the year or the next couple of years it would definitely be th this pair right here now I did size up I am a curvy build this is not a curve collection jean so I did have to size up I took this to the seamstress they took the waist in um, a very easy fix any alteration shop could do that um, but I really really just love how classic the logo is on the back just you know it's iconic it's Levi's I like the little tag and then of course, just the back pockets, I think it's just like really classic. I love the length of these. I'm pretty sure they are a 27 length. Now when I purchased these, they were size 29, which equates to an eight. However, I will say Levi has definitely changed their sizing the last couple of years. I would recommend sizing up just one size. So again, this is a 29, but I would need a 30. At Abercrombie, for an example, I'm typically a six. But in these, I would definitely be a 10. Levi's definitely run much smaller. And then the first little top that I threw on with these jeans is this cute little crochet sweater. Now, I absolutely love this. And if you don't have one in your wardrobe, I highly, highly recommend picking one up that's similar to this. I will leave a couple options down below. I actually just ordered a really cute one in from Revolve. And it's actually not as sheer, so I won't even have to wear like a little tank over my bra underneath. The one that I found from Revolve... Um, it's just like much thicker so you won't have to worry about that i'll leave it down below and i'll see if i can find a couple other ones but i feel like crochet is just timeless it's something that's never going to go out of style you can absolutely reach for some kind of crochet or knitted sweater like this like this open knit sweater um sees like year after year every spring and summer i feel like these pieces are just timeless i love how it looks with just jeans and sandals jeans and little heeled sandals to dress it up jeans shorts in this is really cute too i have thrown this on over a swimsuit with some jeans or baggy sweatpants i just feel like it's very versatile and when you have a piece like this laying around for the season i just feel like throw it on a very easy out now another way that i saw those jeans which by the way those that pair of jeans comes in like 12 to 14 different colors they are currently on sale i think the jeans right at 70 dollars. if you guys followed me over on instagram you would have caught the sale because i shared it over there i do hope it's on sale right now for the time this video goes live but I had shared it a few days ago so be sure to follow me over on Instagram for kind of like more up-to-date things um, updates sale alerts all of that my handle is very simple Brittany and at Brittany and Courtney you can also follow me over on TikTok and like I had said I had also posted on the LTK app so if you follow me there you won't miss those kind of sale information but I feel like a very simple classic timeless outfit that I reach for when I'm like don't know what to wear or I don't feel like wearing anything tight or like fussy definitely the pair of jeans some sneakers those are my favorite sneakers those are the Veja Campo sneakers I love them I wear them to death they are so dang comfortable you don't even have to break them in at least I didn't have to they do come in quite a few different colors they are vegan leather um, they are made from recycled Amazon rubber like they're just a great brand but your favorite pair of jeans a very simple white t-shirt and then throw a blazer on top this is just a look that I'll never get sick of I have quite a few different shades of taupe and camels blazers as well as a lovely black one and a cream one some of my favorite brands are definitely made well Everlane, and a few from revolve so i'll leave my favorite listed down below but i feel like this is just 
always an easy outfit whether you're grabbing lunch grabbing coffee um, meeting a friend for drinks or running errands that kind of thing I just feel like you always look really put together and just a simple classic combo like this a blazer t-shirt and jeans I wanted to mention I am on the hunt for a better t-shirt this one here I do really like it's from Abercrombie I like a lot of Abercrombie's t-shirts and tops this one here is just their baby tee soft essential baby tee I am in a size smallness I size down typically I'm a medium but I like my t-shirt to be more fitted if you girls have any recommendations for your favorite t-shirt specifically a white t-shirt leave them down below so we can all kind of try them out and i will share a couple of the ones that i order in from your guys recommendations but i'm really looking for the neckline to not stretch and when you put it on it lay flat so if you girls have any that you absolutely love leave them down below. now these little vest tops are super popular right now they're on trend for sure but i feel like this is also something that could just live in your wardrobe and you pull it out year after year it's very timeless i love this one in particularly from revolve it's by the brand lovers and friends i'm wearing size medium has an adjustable little strap here in the back so it just gives that really nice tailored fit to the waist um, but this material is just absolutely wonderful i feel like the silhouette on this is just like that perfect fit it is 55% linen, 45% viscose, and 100% rayon for the, sh for the lining. Um, but just like a really nice material. I love linen. It's very breathable throughout the warmer months. And then um, <clears throat> when it wrinkles as you wear, it just like looks more natural. It doesn't look like too wrinkled or worn or anything like that. But I absolutely love this one. I know I shared one from H&M too that I can leave links down below. And Abercrombie has really good options too. This I'm wearing a size medium in. And obviously I styled here with jeans, but I feel like these little tops look amazing with any kind of tailored shorts, um, even like a little silk skirt. Looks amazing with trousers as well. So definitely a very versatile piece, but I feel like for me personally, it's like, oh shoot, we're going out to a nice dinner or something. I'm getting ready real quick. This jeans and little heeled sandals, very easy outfit. Now I feel like stripes are obviously classic, timeless as well. And I do have a couple options here that I want to share with y'all. But this one here, this little racerback tank top I got in from Abercrombie, I think a year or two, probably two years ago now at this point. I will leave similar options below. I actually was just searching a lot of different retailers that I always shop from. H&M, Revolve, Abercrombie, Nordstrom, lots of really good options out there. So I'll definitely have like four or five options listed down below. Um, this one here though, I'm wearing my regular size medium. And then I styled it back with this mini denim skirt from Abercrombie. I love this skirt. I feel really good in this. I feel like it's that per perfect like feminine piece that you can kind of throw on, but you're super comfortable, whether you're styling this with little heeled sandals, boots, sneakers, um, wedges. I feel like it's just like a very easy piece to style. And I love that you can really style in a lot of different ways. So you can dress it up or wear it more casually like I have here simple striped tank top and sneakers. I feel like that's such an easy outfit. Now, if it's still a little bit cooler where you're at, obviously if you don't, if you have a striped sweater, a striped long sleeve, a simple long sleeve, a lot of the outfits that I'm sharing, obviously just with minor adjustments, you'll get the same look, but maybe it's more seasonally appropriate for you to be in longer sleeves right now versus a tank top. Um, but just again, the whole idea is just really simple pieces, mixing and matching. I feel like it's very easy to forget those simple and easy outfits, but they really are just like really good outfits to just throw on when you're in a rush or you just don't simply know what to wear, pull out some of your favorite basics and you'll be able to create a very easy outfit. Now I'm really into trousered shorts at the moment as well as just simple pant trousers. This one here I picked up from Abercrombie last year. So it's a size large, um, which I'm typically a size six, size eight, but in shorts, I always size up just being a curver build. I always have to. Plus I'd rather them be a little bit roomier. So they're a little bit longer in length. I don't have to yank them down. Like I can just, you know, stand up and just like slightly adjust them and I'll be good to go. But this year they brought them out in numeric sizing and they also have them in the Curve Love collection. So if you're new around here or new to Abercrombie, I should say, because I share Abercrombie in almost every video. I love Abercrombie. Um, the quality is always amazing. The colors, the style, the fit. I just absolutely love their pieces. But the Curve Love collection, it gives you an extra inch and a half to two inches across like your thigh and hip area, which is the widest part of my body. And then it comes in nice and snug to the waist. I never have back gapping in the back of my jeans or shorts. I just feel like they're like the perfect collection for me, the Curve Love collection. 
being a curvy build, smaller waist, need a little more extra room in my hips and butt area, and uh, the Curve Love Collection is perfect for me. Like I was saying, they do have these tailored trousers in the Curve Love Collection. If I was going to order them, because I actually did in black as well as a tan color, this color is from last year, but it, it is available this year as well as a few other pastel colors, pink and blue. Um, but what I ordered in the black and tan for this year is a size actually I just grabbed them here but I got a size 12 again in the jeans I'm typically a 6 or an 8 mostly a 6 um, but anytime it comes to shorts I always size up and I have found that this kind of fabric this trouser fabric I am sizing up in again I have ordered the 10s they fit nice the 8s fit me very tight and snug so I can kind of be in multiple sizes but just for preference I just like to them to be a little bit looser I can always add a belt but they have an amazing elastic waistband so still fitting nice and snug to my my waist it just gives a little bit of a baggier looser fit which I personally like on my body so anyways absolutely love those shorts can't wait to style them a bunch um, obviously that striped little knitted tank top looks really cute with them and sandals um, loafers for the time being as it's a little bit cooler out still I feel like adding a blazer on top is a really great outfit combination as well something very easy if you don't have a blazer throw a cardigan on top like very simple pieces but together create a very tailored and well styled look and then of course i styled here with those loafers that i got in a while ago those are hands down one of my favorite loafers they're from franco sarto i find them so incredibly comfortable i have them in that camel color as well as black and i most certainly want them in like the light um, beige color as well just because I feel like they are my favorite loafers I feel so comfortable in them but I love it as a really tailored look of course again like I keep mentioning you can swap out a few different things um, you could just wear a striped long sleeve with a tailor short like this you could throw sneakers on um, swap the loafers for sandals a lot of different combinations and variables that you can make you can switch up to make really good simple outfits. Now, keeping with stripes, I feel like everyone should have a really good striped sweater. I finally found mine. I've been hunting and looking and I just absolutely love how classic this one is. This one is by the brand La Academ. I'm wearing a size medium and this is from Revolve. It is 47% merino wool, 38% visco, 10% nylon, and then 5% cashmere. So with it being like 50% wool, almost 50% wool, it is definitely on the heavier side. I personally love this. I feel like this is so great to layer on shorts out and about here. It's a little bit cooler at nights, um, but I obviously love this on its own. This with a pair of jeans, my Converse, such an easy outfit. Um, obviously, if you're not into Converse, you can swap it out. This with those shorts that I just shared, the black version would be really cute as well with loafers or sandals. I love this draped over my shoulder as well, but definitely like just one of those pieces that since I've gotten it, I've styled it so many different ways. It was definitely missing in my wardrobe. I highly, highly recommend this sweater. Then we go into some simple basic t-shirts. This one here, this black one is from Amazon's Essential Line. I really like these t-shirts. They're definitely longer in length. So if you are somebody that needs a t-shirt to tuck into your pants for work, or you just like to tuck, have tuck in tuckable options in your t-shirts, because I know I wear a lot of crops, but if you're someone that likes a little longer length of a t-shirt, I definitely recommend this one. You get it for, you get two black and white um, for like $20 on Amazon. It's part of their Amazon Essential Lines and just has really held up really well. I am in a size small in this, but I also have another set in a size medium. I like the medium to tuck it in the front and just kind of wear it a little bit looser and baggier with jeans. I like the small for when I want it to be much more fitted and I'm tucking it like the whole t-shirt into like a short or a skirt. Um, jeans like that um, but I don't think you can go wrong with this I saw this back with again the tailored shorts from Abercrombie I'm gonna leave this year's version down below again they come in quite a few different colors I picked up the black and tan this year but they also come in a beautiful cream pink and blue color as well um, but I feel like this is just a very easy outfit whether you're styling it back very simply with those black sandals swapping it out for black loafers black ballet flats adding a blazer on top a cardigan on top again you get the idea very very simple but you can make a lot of really great outfits just with some of the simple pieces you have in your wardrobe I always like to um, take a moment in the spring season to kind of just pull everything out of my wardrobe I don't know what the hammering noises but I always like to take time typically coming out of winter and moving into spring to kind of pull everything out of my wardrobe reassess all the basics that I have look at everything try on things that I didn't feel like I loved last year or wore a ton get rid of the old and then obviously really dig through and find those basic pieces that need to be pulled out again and maybe have a you know and give a little love to um, 
with that being said i do try to keep up with my poshmark account i've been really working on it so i have have been adding a ton of items over there on my poshmark account of course the link for that is down below in the description box so if you are interested in shopping in my closet for the items that i have up for sale the link is down below okay and then lastly pulling out a really neutral colored sweater and pairing it back with your favorite cream jeans i feel like it makes for the easiest spring outfit as well and i personally love this beige oatmeal color paired back to a creamier milky or white i love cream and white pair together i feel like it actually can look very expensive very luxurious and uh yeah i just feel like not everyone styles it i'm not sure if everybody can pull it off i feel like you have to kind of like love those pieces on you and just be really confident to wear that outfit color combination and it's just one of my favorite my husband loves that color combination as well i feel like it looks just very timeless and very expensive but this sweater here i had picked up from express earlier in the year it's definitely oversized and baggy i love this i feel like it looks great with the cream jeans those jeans i got in from abercrombie they are back in stock comes in 20 plus different colors i am wearing my regular size in those a 28 6 regular a part of the curve love collection again fits snug to the waist an extra inch and a half to the thigh and hip area but i love this and i feel like a sweater like this just very timeless classic you can throw this on with jean shorts and sandals you could obviously wear the outfit that i have styled here with little heeled sandals dress it up with a bag um style it more casually with just maybe some ripped jeans and uh, little sandals or sneakers. So just really great pieces styled together for a lot of different easy outfits. Okay, girls, that is it for my easy spring outfits 2024. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some outfit inspiration. I know we all have a lot of great basics in our wardrobe. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta get in there and clean things out and pick through it. I do have a whole step-by-step -step how to declutter your wardrobe, um, your closet. If you are interested in that video, I will leave it linked down below. I shared it just earlier this year. So in case that interests you i do have a video on the way that i personally do that in my closet everything that i shared in today's video is listed and linked down below in the description box again if you're on mobile tap tells video everything will populate for you there again everything is always linked in the ltk app as well and be sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok i share more daily outfit inspiration over there now if you are looking for more spring capsule wardrobe staples do let me know if you want me to do a very dedicated detailed video i can certainly do that in the next couple of weeks just comment down below if you would like to see that or if there's anything else you would like to see let me know i would love to shop and help you girls style things just leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching today's video i hope to see you really soon in my next one bye